coyote on the side of the roadie. We're here at Mesa Verde today. Everyone is super friendly. It's beautiful. Most people are on vacation, willing to have a good time. And uh, this is our life now. I want to live in national parks. Can we make that happen? We have never driven on this road entering our campsite and more, more field campground, more field campground, and not seeing something amazing. Today we saw a coyote just chilling. I thought someone lost their dog. Coyote. I thought somebody lost their puppy. Just a coyote on the side of the roadie. And last night we saw herds of what kind of deer? Mule deer. Mule deer. And um, we're headed back to our campsite now, get a bite to eat, and then we're gonna take a nice scenic tour uh, to the meeting point for our 700 year tour. Good morning guys, we are here in Mesa Verde National Park. Last night we stayed the night in a great campsite at the Moorfield Campground. And this morning we're, we are getting all set to take a 700 year tour of the cliff dwelling. We're so excited. However, you can't bring your dogs on the tours here because the trails are mostly archeological protected sites which is what they do here at this park. Um, why this national park is what it is, it, they're protecting over 6,000 archeological sites. So pups are not allowed, but what we're gonna do is they offer boarding at our super reasonable price here at the camp store area at the Moorfield Campground. So Pete and Nick are gonna have their own adventure while we adventure. Nicky is super interested in this deer over here. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna walk about a quarter of a mile. You think we can handle that? No problem. No problem, all right. However, we are gonna go down about 100 feet, which means what? <laughs> Absolutely. And we are at about 7,000 feet elevation, which means that effectively there's about 20 to 30% less oxygen available to us compared to at sea level. Hey guys, here we are. We're on the 700 year tour. We have traveled around by a bus. It's been a lot of fun for us and the girls looking at the beginnings of cliff dwellings to this massive masterpiece behind us, 150 rooms in its cliff palace. There's a ranger led question and answer. And we've learned so much today. The girls have had so much fun. According to my calculations, this is a rubber rabbit bush. This one. That one? Oh yeah, it looks exactly like it. <laughs> Olivia, what do you think about the ancestral Pueblo cliff dwelling behind me? If you go into one of the houses, you can see, like you put your head up and then you look to the right, you can see a little red painting. That's right, there's an original painting from about 1200 AD. It's like a square, red um, square with like a bunch of triangles. Mm -hmm. Most of the paint and the facade has come off of these uh, 
cliff dwellings, but you can see by the painting inside what they might have looked like inside, right? And were there kids that lived here? Yeah, dogs, turkeys. They were all across the And theme. what I think is awesome is, yes. And what I think you is awesome is up on, the, up on the roof, is where they had their farms, where they would plant all their food. So if you think about it, it was super smart for them to build in the side of the cave their house and their farm was right above. So food to table, farm to table, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs>